what's going on guys? Well, it's been a long time since I did a book review and I wanted to review this book as well as the second edition. Um, I'm gonna do this one in a later video. But I want to do this uh, book review for a long, long time. These are one of my favorite books of all time. When I first got into Ballad Songs, I went out and I got one of these books. And it really helped me to start learning all about the Ballad Song. Uh, nowadays, this is a great reference to see old Ballad Songs, old models. If you happen to be a collector, a book like this will definitely get you excited when you see all the old you know, Benchmade models and, and different types of Ballad Songs from back in the day. Um, this is the Ballad Song Manual with Jeff Amata. Jeff Amata is covered on the front. He is a huge staple in the Ballad Song community. He's been around for many, many years, um, very much involved in Hollywood. Pretty much any Ballad Song you've seen on television in a movie from the 80s on, he's shown those people how to use them. He's literally been the uh, instructor, the, the Ballad Song go-to guy for Hollywood, for the, the film industry for many, many years. Uh, one of my favorite roles he ever played was in Cheech and Chong in Nice Dreams. Cheech and Chong, uh, Cheech Marin and Tommy Chong are sitting down to dinner and the waiter comes over to open a bottle of champagne and he uses a battle song to open it. When I saw that, I freaked. I love Cheech and Chong movies. Obviously, I love the battle song. Um, when he used it, I'm like, holy crap. And then I looked at the guy and I'm like, you know, he looks so familiar. And it turns out it was Jeff Amata. He literally played that role. Instead of teaching someone how to do it, they happen to be in a Chinese restaurant. He happens to be an oriental man. So he just did the role. Instead of teaching an actor how to do that, he's like, you know what? I'll do it. So he played the waiter, he opened the battle song, which is very fancy. And it's funny because they're talking, they have dialogue back and forth. I think Pee Wee Herman is uh, in that scene. He's, uh, by the way, a little tidbit, Pee Wee Herman was very good friends <laughs> with Cheech and Chong uh, in real life. And he plays cameos in pretty much every one of their movies. If you watch, Pee Wee is in pretty much every one of the Cheech and Chong movies at some point doing something. So kind of a funny thing. But anyway, um, I think he, at some point he's underneath the table doing coke. And it's that whole scene. But yeah, the waiter comes over, that's Jeff Amata, and it's just so cool. But anyway, <clears throat> the Battle Song Manual is a great place to start. If you're starting Battle Songs, it really is a good book. It's the book to get to start learning moves, learning history, learning all about the knife. Um, in addition to that, if you already know the Battle Song and you're you know semi-good with it or whatever, you don't need the basics, uh, it's still an awesome piece of history. Uh, it's an awesome um, collector's item, in my opinion, for any Battle Song enthusiast. So this one came out in 1984. I'm going to do, like I said, a review, a separate video on the Vance Balsall Manual, which came out two years later in 86. And basically it's an addition to the first one. Some more information and stuff like that. But the first one here it is Jeff Amata right on the cover. Let's open it up, take a look in here. Again, it came out in 84. The dedication page. Let's look at the contents real quick. Uh, dedication, forward about the author, uh, history, care and treatment, the battle song, and the law. Uh, keep in mind, any law information from 84 will be outdated. Of course, you want to look at, at current law information. Um, carrying the battle song, safety, uh, knife safety, the grip, uh, striking areas. Of course, you know, there's, they're teaching defensive purposes. They're not you know, teaching you how to flip this just because it's fun. The idea behind this is, you know, the, the martial arts sense of defense. So... That's uh, obviously the, the main uh, idea or concept with this whole uh, book. Uh, <clears throat> manipulating the battle song, so they're going to show you a couple different moves, and then self-defense techniques. So, about the author, forward. I'm not going to read this stuff because I'm not going to ruin it for anyone who wants to get the book. They show a couple different uh, things here. Oh, there's the scene right there from Cheech and Chong, Jeff Amata, which is awesome. They show uh, other things from Hollywood. They show uh, different knives, some suggested stuff. I'm not, again, I don't want to ruin this for anyone who's never seen this before. Uh, it's just awesome. All this stuff is very much worth reading. I mean, <clears throat> it's not just a book to open and go right to the moves and try the moves. It's worth reading every single word in this. My favorite part of this, though, is seeing the old battle songs, the old production stuff. Custom shop Benchmades from the 80s, just friggin' awesome. Speaking of the 80s and Benchmade, right in the bottom there, says, preservers of the Filipino arts include Les de Assis, left, president of Pacific Cutlery. If you don't know, Pacific Cutlery was Benchmade's old company. So they were, before they were Benchmade, they were uh, Pacific Cutlery. And that is the owner of Benchmade, and still the owner of Benchmade today. So, very interesting piece of history there. But anyway, obviously, <clears throat> even back then, when they were Pacific Cutlery, they were the leading company for, for high-end production battle songs. There's uh, some of the old ones being put together. 
Man, that's probably $30,000 worth of battle songs right there on the table, at least in today's age. Some more old pictures. This is what I like about this, just the reference in battle song history. They give you a breakdown of battle song uh, parts, the names of them, different types of grinds, different types of points that were available. Again, all exclusively through Benchmade for the most part. Here are some old models here. It's super sexy. I get a total bow song boner when I look at this. And yes, that does exist. If you're into knives, specifically bow songs, and, and everyone in the bow song community knows this, when you see stuff like this, you get super excited. You're like, holy crap. You know, that old blah, blah, blah. You know, old model 30. Just, I mean, just some of the stuff that you see in here is just phenomenal. Um, good information on care and treatment in this. Obviously shows you how to sharpen some basics in sharpening. Uh, the law thing I would disregard. It's worth reading because it's interesting, but disregard all the information there. Here's the old sheaths. Yes, people usually carry battle song in sheaths. Nowadays, people carry battle songs for the most part. They want some kind of pot clip on it or they carry it in the pocket. But it was very, very stylish and common to see someone carrying a battle song in their sheath horizontally, you know, on their side in the 80s and 90s. Uh, speaking of battle songs, just a, a random thing. I saw a guy at Walmart about two weeks ago the Walmart in Matamoros. If you watch my channel, please send me a message to say, hey, I saw you over by the friggin, I think it was the tea aisle, whatever. I was with Christina, we were food shopping, and I was in produce, and I walked past, and I saw the guy, he, he looked very suspicious. He looked around like three times, and I kind of looked at him, because I was, I was wondering what he was gonna do. I was kind of waiting for him to pull a gun out or something, and he pulled the battle song out. I couldn't tell which one it was, because I was like 30 feet away. He did a little, little flip de doo da and then uh, open some package to better look at what it was. You know, he's with his girlfriend and wife or something. If you watch my videos, send me a message because I was dying. I don't know why. Most of the time, I would just walk over and be like, dude, that's awesome. What kind of bell song you got? You know, but I just, I was busy getting my stuff and I regret not coming over and saying hi. But anyway, and we kind of locked eyes for a second because, you know, for most people, and I saw it with him, he was very nervous opening a battle song. I could tell he was just like kind of trying to be discreet, but at the same time flipping it. You know, he could have been more discreet. I don't know, maybe showing off for his wife or girlfriend. But <laughs> his nor here or there, uh, I got really excited when I saw that, and I regret not coming over and asking what kind he had. So anyway, if you watch the channel, I think that's hilarious. Thank you, and please uh, send me a message. All right, so getting into page 25, it starts with some of the moves that you can learn. Uh, obviously, it's showing a slideshow style to show you all the different moves. It also has text to, to, you know, so you can read exactly what's going on. Here's just a basic horizontal draw. Um, what's interesting, too, is that in the 80s, how, you know, the names of the moves have changed, of course. Over time, people may do a move and they start calling it something else than what it was originally. And, you know, so be it. It's not a big deal. The, the name of the move really doesn't matter that much. Even when I do battle song moves, sometimes I'll do my tutorials. And I'll rename something just because it's convenient for people who are searching. I try to name my moves based upon what they're actually doing. But, you know, the official names, the official names for different battle song moves, you know, they exist, sure. But um, as far as references purposes, some people do so many different moves, or they can do, excuse me, the same move and have so many different names for it. It gets very confusing. You know, you can say, oh, what's a basic horizontal? And three different people can show you three different moves and all call that a basic horizontal. So don't get too tied up in the names so much as the actual moves. But what's really cool is seeing the original names, the official names for these types of moves. So if you see this particular move and you're like, yeah, it's a horizontal draw. So I was like, no, it's not. I'm like, you know what? That's it. Let me break out my friggin' Balsam manual and show you. <laughs> so anyway, they go on to uh, the draw, different, a couple different carry methods. Again, all moves. I'm not going to ruin it for anyone who wants to get this book. But you do get a couple different... Uh, uh, carry options are showing you concealed in the sleeve, concealed in the ankle. Really interesting. Uh, this is really cool. Safety and responsibility. Basically going on to talk about the bite handle. What to hold, what not to hold. How you're going to get cut. How to avoid cuts. Alright, and they even suggest taping the blade, if you need to, to practice. There we go. Common cuts that you're going to get. Very cool. Two full pages dedicated to that. And a little bit of information on first aid. Talking about different grips. This is when we get into defense, okay? How to strike. Man, that looks nasty. Using the tang to pinch different parts, of the, you know, different uh, striking methods. Very cool. More manipulation, more moves. I'm not gonna ruin it for you. Skip through here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Hey, stop peeking. You don't wanna ruin it for yourself. 
But as you can see, even in the original one, there's lots and lots of moves to learn. I skipped a couple pages there. So most of this is dedicated to opening and closing and manipulating. All right, now you kind of get into different types of drills. This is for muscle memory. He's using an Eskrima a stick, um, and he's showing you different moves. Now, he's obviously showing this with a stick, but this is directly relating to battle songs as well. All right, so you're going to get more used to moving your wrist and arm and, and elbow and stuff like that, so you don't pull a muscle or strain anything when you're flipping. All right, I'm just giving a few pages here. Again, don't want to ruin it. It goes into the fence, different techniques. I love that, the pain he's expressing in his face for that shot. Very cool. All right, moving along. It's cool because I want to show you the book. Oh, this is interesting too. This is just a quick diagram of all your blood vessels and stuff. So they go on talking about different cuts in different areas. It can be much more effective. You cut some on the inside of the thigh. And bleed out. Um, there's not in this particular book, but there's a lot of good self-defense books that talk about that. Uh, if you're using a blade for defense, um, you know where to strike. If you obviously you slit someone's neck open, it's gonna look does not look very defensive. You know, you cut someone from ear to ear, and you say, "Well, I was just defending myself." No, that's not gonna fly in court. You stab someone on the inside of the thigh, and they bleed out in two minutes and die. Um, it's not gonna look as bad as if you're uh, slicing their throat open. All right, so that's pretty much it, all right? Now that's it for the first one, all right? Mostly showing you different moves. The beginning, obviously, some intro. There's some very, very good information in there. Um, but where it really gets into some of the history and as far as a reference book, that's where the Advanced Battle Soul Manual comes in. And these are a pair. If you're interested in this stuff, do yourself a favor, get both of them. They go hand in hand. They're awesome. So stay tuned. I'm going to do a separate video on the Advanced Battle Soul Manual. But that's it. That's the Battle Soul Manual by Jeff Amata from 1984. It's an awesome piece of battle song history. You know, sexy old blades. Absolutely beautiful. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, the book review. Uh, if you're interested in this, I have lots of different knife books, lots of different gun books. I got books on fireworks. I got books on booby traps. I got all kinds of books. So I like the weird books. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Take care.